Onija Zani, a self-taught professional roller skater from Lusaka, Zambia, is making waves in the roller skating world despite the challenges of skating on the city streets. He is using innovative technology to bring this sport to life. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndiho is here to tell us more about this. Paul. Thank you, Esther. Onija's skills have made him an internet star and has represented Zambia in international competitions. He uses his expertise to train roller skaters in Zambia and beyond. For more, I'm joined by Onija Zani in the Zambian capital, Lusaka. He started out as a hobby for you going to school, but you've since turned this passion into uh, into a spot where you have signed up young people across the country. Bring us up to speed. Ever since a friend of mine taught me how to skate, I've been striving to keep up with the skill and also practice with this, um, the same skill within my community. So every time after practicing or during practicing, there's always this attraction of the sport to bring people um, to join. So apart from that also, I've seen people wanting to be recruited in the skating uh, business. And um, with that, I can say it has brought a lot of people, not only within Lusaka, where I stay, but also people out of Lusaka in different other provinces. Uh, people who roller skate, that they get in touch with me. I do help them with uh, some videos, just to use them as a reference point for them to learn more about roller skating and also link-ups when they come within the capital city of Zambia and Lusaka, we have an opportunity to skate together. What does it take to be uh, a, a terrific uh, roller skater? As for me, I can say I've been skating for more than 19 years. So it's not something that it's gradual, or everyone who would hear my opinion would say it's difficult because they'll say I've been skating for a long time. But it is not that difficult, it is actually easy. It's it's not scary because people think of the falling part as the first element when they say roller skating, even skateboarding. So with that phobia, uh, they tend to shy away and say, I don't want to learn anything that will hit me. Uh, we all know during any, any learning lesson, doesn't matter what sport it is, there are always challenges and there are always failures. You will fall, you will have uh, challenges and problems at some point which I'm not saying that you actually cease to do the sport if you have all those fallings. Um, they're just minor. Then afterwards, you eventually um, improve and progress. So on my part, until now, I would say I do fall when I'm trying something way more extreme. But knowing that if I do not try that, I won't become a better roller skater. Same with my students though, who might teach in Zambia. They are good skaters, but with more... In, um, have them having intrinsic motivation um, they have managed to excel even way better than me. How many people have you uh, trained this far? Let me approximate. So approximately now say maybe 600 plus uh, because aside from me doing the club training with people within my community uh, I also do offer like private lessons. So for the private lessons there are many and over the years which I was also using for the sake of my fundraising at school the, at the University of Zambia. As you know, I was never accommodated there. I was roller skating, uh, going and coming back. That was also part of my marketing, that people would see me of skating and therefore they want some lessons. And through that, I would divide my time during my education time with also my lesson time that people come for private lessons and I would use that as a funders and feature. So if I hear you correctly, you've already inspired uh, hundreds of young people across Zambia. And these are people yes. who are doing it uh, for fun and at a professional level. True. I would say, yes, that's true. Because the majority of them that have improved their skills, even the babies, uh, the ones I teach, they were young when we were starting. But if you see how many years, um, about five years passed, they have been so good that they are even better than some of the big guys who are joining recently and they've maintained their skills uh, so abruptly. Is this something where uh, people pay a fee or it's uh, one of those things where you offer to the community? With that, I would say it's divided into two sectors or two parts. So for the community part, I do not charge any amount from them. 
Um, I, I don't charge them any amount. Uh, they actually come to my club and they learn for free. So, so far, openly, I'd say there's a company called Six Light Media that have helped us to uh, purchase, um, one, some outfits, some protectors, um, helmets, and also gloves, inclusive some uh, roller skating shoes, which we normally now use on a daily basis uh, to empower some of the kids, not only in the compound that I stay, there are like different other six compounds which I am running and influencing within Lusaka and also out of Lusaka. Thank you so much for your time. No, thank you so much for having me. That was uh, Onijan Zani speaking to us from the Zambian capital, Lusaka. That's uh, today's uh, Tech Report. Back to you, Esther. All right, thanks, Paul. Be, be sure to join Paul and Diho every Wednesday for another Tech Report right here. And with that, we say thank you for joining us on Africa 54. See you back tomorrow.